all right i thought my last video was gonna do well but <clears throat> i didn't uh so what i'm attempting to do is create a um would it be like a a what is it a lamp like a wall lamp and i got this i was just thinking you know ways of doing wall lamps because i'm working on a room a little project where i painted and it's an older house so it doesn't have any ceiling lights and i'm up here in new jersey so most of their houses don't have ceiling lights they have lamps so instead of uh, having a lamp that's out and about on a desk or a table which take up more space um just trying to uh, put something on the wall so i got a couple of things um i painted use the old paint can i'm gonna show you how i did i started i did one already um <clears throat> and it's just a regular paint can i took the pla uh, paper off and i do that last and then i um Used a blow dryer because you know most paint buckets still have old paint. I use a, a blow dryer. This one gets very very hot, so it should dry pretty quickly. Um, I went and bought online from Amazon this sewn off. I think this size that's like a Japanese or China made in China type uh, thing. And what it looks like, <clears throat> it looks something like this. And what this is, I have a lot of. Uh, I have an uh, Amazon Alexa and it'll uh, connect to Amazon Alexa via Wi-Fi. And the only thing I have to do is say Alexa turn off lamp or something like that and it'll turn it off. Also went to Walmart, <clears throat> got um, the wire, the lamp. You can either get the lamp set itself, which I wouldn't do. Uh, I just get the parts for it. This is, uh, like I think it's an eight foot cord right here. It was just a cord. So what I did was just uh, attached it to the end. The, the inside, you have an input and an output. Let's see, you see there it's an input and you have an output right there. <clears throat> and you have your output side. And uh, I won't be able to finish this project all in one because I did, uh, I don't have the wire to go on this end to my outlet. <coughs> so I went and bought, went to Home Depot. This is the only one I could find that'll fit in the bucket uh, like that. I was looking for just the round ones. Maybe I need to go somewhere else and look at look at it um, if I do any more like that. But a typical box like this, I, I, I did plastic because I'm not really good with electricity so i didn't want anything touching so this is what i did so i went <clears throat> also from home depot but this is was this was about two dollars a dollar and something i think a dollar yeah a dollar and something well a dollar fifty this right here was a dollar and something right here i just went and got one not with the switches <clears throat> just got the uh, one just the plain one uh no cords or anything on the back side right here i see you know you i had just getting ready to hook it up making sure i had everything about the uh, <coughs> uh spade terminals i forgot this from home depot they were um maybe a dollar 99 something like that <coughs> um let's see I got some of these um, actually in this project. I don't think I need them. So either I hold these off for another project or <coughs> I would um, return, a, return these. These are just the standard wire connectors. But <clears throat> I just got in the mail my uh, sound off, sound off um, information. Uh, this little box. Uh, wasn't exactly sure how it was be connected so as I see now I just uh, push my terminals in and go straight so I just get uh, some cord some wire that it will go for my neutral and go for my lead and go on from there so <clears throat> enough talking <coughs> so what I did was pour pour it out all that I could from the bucket and I had just a little bit left and 
you'll see in, in that right there this little cup it's a little throwaway cup that I had I have all my the paint drippings or whatever and <coughs> just put it in there and I can put it in the trash instead of it going down the drain so I still see a little <coughs> see kind of getting the sun right here a little uh, a little bit of extra that didn't go on the side, but here we go. It's plugged up here. Hit the breaker. <clears throat> Still not working. I see I used this last night. <clears throat> say I like to get around the rim so because I get a little lazy sometimes and just let it sit down there so I make sure the rim is dry <laughs> and then I put it down and make sure the inside is So I think I got the majority of the, uh, I don't know if you can hear me, I think I got majority of the outside dry. I did a little pause there and just went through. Um, but I won't be peeling this off right now because I got to go to work in a few. And I'm just going to go inside, let it um, stay in there for about 10 minutes. Just just leave it, set it, and set it in one place, and make sure I hit the uh, big spot. I think you can see it just a little bit down here in this little area right here with his little lip. This is where extra paint is just sitting there, so I'm gonna make sure I have to hit that a little bit. And when I come back, um, should be ready. I want, I want to uh, come in and let you know this, this is how it's heating up. It's getting dry on the outside. So <clears throat> what I like to do is go ahead and pick at the dry parts and it'll agitate it. That dry little wet part, pull it over with thin part it inside here and that film, that first film part will peel away and it'll let us get us to the uh, to that wet part. So now, what we have to do is <coughs> drop this wet part and it should be good. Like I said, this blow dryer gets very hot, so it hasn't even been 15 minutes yet, but it's drying very, very fast. So what I'm doing is just still alleviating my big chunks, what I had in there, and just trying to move back the layer so I can get everything dry, sit it out here, go to work, come back tonight, work on this project, and it'll be dry so I can just peel it off.
stuff in the uh, in the water and just peel it off and throw it in the trash.